stunt doubles? They only gave me one. It's in my contract. Got a better lawyer, baby. Man, lawyer, Wallace don't play, man. <laughs> Wallace is that guy. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Sinta with the Intel. You already see that Rakai is in the building. What's going on with you, my guy? Hello, Governor. Ah, yes, sir. Scott Pilgrim, episode five. We are past the halfway point. Had some interesting revelations. You can check those out with some of the previous episodes. Don't worry about it. There'll be a link in the description for that. Make sure you stay to the end because we're going to be chopping it up, having a quick discussion over everything that we just got done going over. So without any further ado, let's get started. Is it true neither of you have acted before? Yes, but we're very, very famous, and that's basically the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> and what we want right now is to be movie stars. Mm -hmm. hmm. Lights, wow. camera, sparks. I guess, if I'm being honest, this whole shoot does feel a little blurry. My mom says I should get my eyes checked. I mean, we still don't even know if Wallace really wrote this, right? You know, he just kind of just took the credit. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm Ramona Flowers. They said I should come talk to you. It's my first day. You're the stunt double for Ramona Flowers. Wow. When what? you're done up there, I've got another stunt for you. No problem. Great. I need you to run over to my hotel room and give my dog some medication. Wow. I wasn't working on the movie, and I needed an excuse to be on set so I could get close enough to Todd to find out if he used a vegan portal to kidnap this guy I went out with one time. So just be honest, right? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, young Neil, your glasses. Huh? Wow. Yeah, I finally got a prescription. Th their sunglasses? Yeah, I said Wallace the last time regarding him. It wasn't Wallace, it was young Neil that I was talking about. I was wondering. There's no... That's Wallace. I'm ...heckling on the sidelines mm -hmm. to co-lead in a major Canadian blockbuster. Can you speak to that? So apparently Edgar Wright is Canadian as well? I guess. Why don't we try having Scott gently put his hand on Ramona's back? Mm. No, 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 cut! Mm. Scott Pilgrim, precious little... <laughs> a movie set is kind of like a chemistry set. Some people just have too much chemistry. What? Wow. Action! Mm. Mm. Scene 43, take 32! Wow. Scene 43, They did the full Titanic 43. thing and everything. Action! Yeah, they turned this into uh, a Skinamax. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Every day more magical than the last, right, baby? Vegans are unusually loyal to their partners. Yeah. They never waver. <laughs> wow. You see how last thing he said was that's true. And action. Scott and Wallace, let's look at each other. Peep into each other's eyes. Never seen eyes like these in your life. Oh, you know Wallace all in. <laughs> Lights, camera, sparks. Cut! Just like Rich! that, you lost your I dude. Think we're something here, gang. <laughs> I don't remember writing that part. You don't remember writing any of it. He doesn't. Oh. Yeah. We wrote a song for her to sing at the movie. Please, it's like a cross between the last number and all that jazz and the first number in Greece too. Is that knives? What just happened? That's a good question. Not sure. I missed that one. Wanna run lines in your trailer? Huh? Oh. Oh, you're closing the deal. <laughs> hey, so, um, so, so quick question, um, about uh. Run lines in your trailer. They're actually running lines. That's funny. <laughs> lines, trailer. Okay. Mm. My, best friend. Okay. my goodness. Maybe that's not just running lines. <laughs> he dated Ramona. I dated Scott Pilgrim, but he always came back to me. I'm his destiny. Mm. Hold that thought. Huh? Wallace. Co worker. My man, stay distracted. Co-work. Uh, <laughs> wow, like, sorry. I just pulled up a portal. 
like, yo, cheeks need to be clapped. I'll be back. <laughs> yes. Only three shots in the can. 17 million over budget with only three shots in the can. Good Lord. I sound like a Marvel film. They always seem to be running lines in his trailer. You two have incredible chemistry. Mm. Envy! I can't be with you anymore. I'm in love with Wallace Wells. My man got it tatted on his chest like it's a Tupac video. I feel myself changing. I'm a new person. Uh, You're new... just turning into Nick Cannon. My skin is clear. It's love. May I say his skin is clearer? What sparks? Todd, baby, is something else. sweetheart. <laughs> Look, he, he a cool dude, man. <laughs> Well, let's see. Come on, man. You know what this is. <laughs> yeah. Let's let's not pretend. <laughs> let's not do that. Boyfriend, prepare to die. And this is our cameraman. Like the cameraman, he's like, yeah, I'm getting all this. It's like that. Stop. Like that Stop Bruce it. Bruce Lee fight. Jeez, have some dignity. This is a film set. If you want to fight with me, fight with them. Oh, the League of Wallaces? Yes, stunt doubles. Four stunt doubles? They only gave me one. It's in my contract. Got a better lawyer, baby. Man, lawyer, Wallace don't play, man. <laughs> Wallace is that guy. Where's everybody going? <laughs> um... <laughs> I love how Wallace is sitting, sitting up in the cut, just chilling. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Mm -hmm. Who said that? Uh, nobody. What part of the movie is this? There we go. Let's get back to the fighting. <laughs> Fight them. Fight the Wallaces. If you lose, you're fired. <laughs> oh, it's different when you're fighting to pay the rent. You give stunts a bad name. This is tragic. You're also slow. Ah! When's the last time you hit the gym? Too many french fries. Mama got them hands. We can handle physical abuse, but we draw the line at verbal abuse. <laughs> oh, can't be a wuss, Wallace. Why does your character want to fight Wallace in the first place? This isn't for the movie. This is for real life. I broke her boyfriend. <laughs> Clapping cheeks. Todd, we need to talk. <sighs> Dang. Oh, Todd. That a box Breaking of vegan popcorn edge. chili cheese fries? You wouldn't understand. What about us? You've known him for three fucking days. Is that all it's been? <laughs> there you go. It's the guy brown. you kidnapped using a vegan portal? She broke up the VHS tech. Yeah. I mean, look at the thought that went into it. The craftsmanship. Todd didn't do this. That was rude. But I'll allow it. <laughs> and by the way, you're fired. I quit. They still crying. Oh, look who it is. Matthew Patel. Hey, you. You over there. Aren't you the director? Yes. You're fired. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. Wait a minute. Edward Ron blew up and he was only worth $10.24. Hey, like, that's... <laughs> All those people are cuckoo crazy. All of them are. Ollie, go home. Yeah. I like your moxie, kids. I have 30 seconds available next Tuesday. <gasps> Dang, that bad boy said ding. Yeah. What's that? Metals and pure gold? It's a character assassination of me, Matthew Patel. I won that fight. I punched Scott Pilgrim to death. Well, you didn't actually punch him to death. You actually did. I didn't win? No. 
He's not dead. No. Nope. Is he mad at me? <laughs> Is he mad at me? <laughs> the Empire's mine. And I plan to keep it. I won't make the same mistakes he made. Nah, man, I think you're right. I think it's a Gideon plan. I don't know how. This Julie. It wouldn't be Julie Powers. Yeah, that's it. You know her? I thought I did. <laughs> Where are you going? Go Julie Powers and I need to talk. Mm. Go robot, dude. Mm -hmm. The little robot dude was working for the Kusanagi twins, right? Yes. If you're watching this on YouTube, you're gonna see a cut down version of our reaction because we're only allowed to show you a limited amount of picture in picture. But if you wanna watch the whole thing with us uncut, uninterrupted, head over to our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash Centel. Become a member of this channel. You'll get access to the full uncut reaction, but you will need your own Netflix, HBO Max, or Disney Plus subscription. So you can open up each episode in an adjacent window to our reaction. We'll give you a little time with a small reference video at the bottom of the screen to help you sync up the footage. And it'll be like you're watching it with your favorite pals from the internet. Two evil folks plotting. All right, hey, so that was the end of episode five. Uh, to me, off the top of my head, to me, it seems like they're kind of like taking a foot off the gas a little bit. Maybe they're trying to, you know, maybe broaden the world a little bit and let us get to know what's going on a little bit. Um, and also we're still, well, I, I can only speak for myself. I'm still coming off of the, the full blown realization that this isn't a program about Scott, Scott Pilgrim. I know it probably sounds old hat now. It's probably like the third or fourth time we said that on this series. But I, this episode just made me kind of miss Scott Pilgrim that much more because it, because it was a little bit slower. Action scenes were, were, were decent, but you know, it was just it was just an okay episode. How you feeling so far? I have to agree. This was um, somewhat of a filler type episode, um, but I think that they're also winding down to eventually probably within this next episode or somewhere in episode seven where we figure out the whole mystery we find scott and then it's time for some sweet vengeance it's just there's no way that they can let this play out for the rest of the episodes it just it that doesn't even make sense yeah, y'all feel that. Um, we're episode five, eight till episodes left. So we got six, seven, eight. We got three big ones left. I'm curious as to what you all think in the chat regarding the pacing that's been involved. Uh, the one, there, there are some things that I did like about the episode. Uh, watching, <laughs> watching Wallace flex was, was, was quite funny. Uh, Cause I, I, I know dudes that are like that. <laughs> I mean, in a, in a past life, I mean, your boy might have been like that. So it was just kind of just funny to see it done in, in, in a comedic kind of way. Um, and then the the, the whole meta-ness of everything, you know, you got Ramona Flowers uh, playing a stunt version of herself. So there's something, I'm sure if you, you know, you dig deep enough, you could find something really super meta about that. You know, you, you're, you don't want to be you, but you'll play you when it comes to dangerous situations, those kind of things. I'm curious what y'all think in the chat. Um, you got any closing thoughts regarding this episode? No, I think uh, so. I, I just because I had to, I looked it up. So Edgar Wrong, uh, Edgar Wright is actually British. Um, he's not Canadian. Uh, okay. Um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know this. Like I said, I think I think one of the things I enjoy the most was the meta ness of this, mm -hmm. and it reminded me of especially because they did this documentary of the movie that almost was which was kind of a direct take on the movie that we've actually seen which that was super in it reminded me of of two different properties i've seen um it reminded me of tropic thunder uh, you know because the whole tropic what? thunder movie was kind of like a documentary on you know the the biggest blunder that became uh the documentary became the big hit movie um <laughs> and then there's a a little known series um that we reviewed on Bingeworthy um on the Geekish Network um called Swarm um that was a direct take on a super fanatics view of 
um, you know, going behind uh, being a member of the Beehive, Beyonce, or at the fictional Beyonce. And then right in the middle of all of the chaos that that series was, that series was magical chaos. Mm. Um, they did a, not a documentary, but kind of like a, a, a true true crime episode, like a first 48 episode right in the middle that was absolutely magical. And that's yes. what this, this episode kind of reminded me of. Ah, man, I couldn't agree with you more. And to me, that was probably one of the more brilliant pieces of the, the Donald Glover hierarchy. Well, the Donald Glover verse, I guess that's the best way to kind of like explain it was was to take meta to, to mm-hmm. that level. It was, it was so well done. That's a very, very good comparison. Uh, let me ask you uh, one more question before we roll out of here. What, what are your expectations now that we only have three episodes left? You know, it's hard to say because this is so different from the movie and so different from what I thought we were going to get. So actually, each episode is kind of a surprise in itself. It's just like if you go back to the movie, Scott fought the stunt doubles and he fought the um, yeah, he fought all the, the, the extras, the stunt doubles of Lucas Lee. But we've already seen a Lucas Lee fight. Um, so for Ramona to fight the Scott Devils of Wallace Wells, but for it to have nothing to do with the movie, that was funny as hell. Um, what do we have left? I, The whole Goose, what is his name? Gordon, Goose, Gideon Graves, and Julie thing. That's weird. I don't even know where to even begin with that. Um, like I said, my prediction before that that Gideon was behind all of this. I'm going to stand on that, but I just really don't know how. I don't know how this is going. And I don't know. So, like I said, you know, Envy just supported that that was a vegan portal, but it was immaculately done and had all this glitter and glam to it. So, I don't know. I mean, we don't know if Gideon is even vegan, but it's somebody who is so who knows <laughs> yeah you know it's 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 another one of those kind of situations where it's like just all bets are off you just gotta just gotta just run with it and see where it takes you you we're already invested if they were gonna put a lull in the episode doing it episode five is a good place because you, you've come too far to turn back um you know i think this was probably one of the weaker of the episodes but it's still not it's still not you know, week to the point where I'm like, I'm done with the series. I'm closing this bad boy out because of the joy I've had through episodes one through four. Uh, I think episode five is probably you know, like a six out of 10 kind of episode. I'm curious what you all think in the comments as well. Uh, if you rated it low, tell us why. If you rated it high, tell us why. Um, I think that's about it for my closing comments. Uh, anything else you want to say to the people before we get out of here just in general? And also make sure you drop off those socials. This is Rakai. Trust me, you want to follow him. This, this dude is just high comedy, very insightful, brilliant, talented, and gifted. So go ahead and let the people know how they can get in contact with you, my guy. Now, you can follow me on all socials at Diamond Mind, D-I-A-M-O-N-D-M-Y-N-D. It's all about this right here. <laughs> hey, if you've been enjoying the conversation that we've been having and the way we just chop it up, make sure you hit that subscription button here. Of course, give us that thumbs up. That's how people know you're digging. We'll be giving you a big, huge, huge, giant shout out and love to the Geekish Network. That is the place where we kind of got started. Well, it's not even a kind of, it is where it's, it's home base. So make sure you head on over there if you want to see geek talk from people that look like us. There'll be a link in the description. That being said, we will catch you all on the next episode. All right, y'all take care. Peace.